Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a brand new paddle to review, the new A11N Zenith C7. This is a startup company. This is one of their first paddles. So I always, I'm excited about new startup companies and kind of what they're gonna do. A lot of this paddle structure is the same as we've heard before, 16 millimeter polypropylene core. It does have a Tori T700 carbon fiber face, but it's a 3K woven surface, and it does have some texture to it. It's Gen 2 thermoformed, unibody, edge foam. It is 16 and a half inches long, seven and a quarter inches wide, five and a half inch long grip with a four and a quarter inch circumference. It comes in at 8.4 ounces. But what makes this paddle really cool is it's got all of that new technology and a little bit different face with the 3K woven face. All of that, they are selling right now for $84.99 US. I'm anxious to get out to the court and hit with this a little bit. That is, that is really cool that they're coming in with a really state-of-the-art components to their paddle and coming in at that price for it. All right, guys, headed out to the court right now going to hit this new A11 in Zenith C7. Looks good. Headed to the courts right now. Hope you're going to be there. All right, I'll be back. So new. Yeah, they are kind of there. Don't get scratched up. Good time for me to negotiate my salary. <laughs> I keep trying to give you a paddle. <laughs> yeah, I know. You try. <laughs> A11N paddle, the Zenith C7. All right, let's see what this will do. It's a little head heavy, so I expect it to perform well in the wind. Let me go after the target. Not bad. Head came up, so the ball came up. And let me go after that. Yeah, the wind's pushing that just a little bit. It's got good straight line accuracy. Very nice paddle. I tried to take a little off of that. Go off that again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the wind's pushing that just a bit. 
That is really nice. All right, let me add some spin to this. Zenith C7, okay. Let me spin this bad boy. Not a great amount of spin, let me try again. It was still a nice spin though, very controllable spin. Oh, that was nice. That ball really flew, controllable spin. That's a nice little paddle. All right, the a 11 n Zenith C7, that's very nice. All right, guys, back. Just spent the last couple of weeks getting to know this new A11N Zenith C7 paddle. I, I will, I'll go back maybe to the opening when I talked about all the you know, structural qualities and how it's similar to a lot of paddles that are out there. I think I failed to mention this paddle is just a touch head heavy at the 8.4 ounces. Uh, you could easily change that just adding a little more weight or adding weight down here. But it is a little head heavy, but I think I failed to mention that in the opener, and I apologize. Now, let me bounce through all the things this paddle does really, really, really well. And you would expect that from Gen 2 thermoforming and all the other properties. This paddle is very accurate, very consistent. You can control it very well. It has nice power, not exceptional power. I think the service numbers came in at 49.6, which is on the upper end of my expected service speed. So that's really good. It has nice controllable spin, not ex exceptional spin, but really controllable. You can really turn the ball. If you're a kind of almost singles player or a tennis player that wants to drive that ball, this is a little top, a little head heavy and that nice controllable top spin, this paddle is going to be a lot of fun to hit for you. It does have nice feedback, nice feel, has a very large sweet spot, which you'd come to expect. It's a good defense to offense paddle because you can really get that tip down and dig trash and get that ball back. It does so many things well. It, For me, I'm not a big head heavy paddle player. I like the weights kind of down here so I can be a little flicky. It does feel a little bulky at the net in the non-volley zone just because it is head heavy, but honestly, it's you can get used to it. It's not that head heavy. It's not terrible head heavy. You think of maybe some of the carbon paddles out there that, uh, that are maybe a little head heavy that you just get used to instantly. In fact, it feels a lot like maybe some, if I was going to compare it maybe to some of the carbon paddles. This paddle is really good. I'm, I'm telling you, it does everything very well. And just a really good paddle. And I'll go back to that price point. It is currently on sale for $84.99 on A11N's website. I'm telling you, you can buy a lot of crap out there at, at that price point or essentially that price point. This is not crap. This is a very good paddle. I, at that price, you can't go wrong. It is that good. You're going to be very happy. I could honestly put this in my bag and have no problem at all. I am so impressed. Bravo to this company for, and I, I hope they get more word out I, to you know what they're trying to do and trying to get into a market, and at that price point, just exceptional. There's, I know some other companies that are trying this as well, but I, I, I applaud A11N for trying this. I had never heard of this company. All right, guys, I'd be anxious to see if you've heard or even played with this. I, it's really cool. I'm anxious to see what they might do next. Very good. All right, guys. Get out there and play. As like, hit, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll be back with more content very, very, very soon. It's spring. Get out there. All right, guys. Zenith used to be a TV back in. Okay.